Hi class, our last topic in Animal Science 1105 Laboratory is all about the production performance of goat. So, the success of goat enterprise depends primarily on the kind and type of animals used as a foundation stock. Because um, breeder stocks are selected based on physical features and the productive and reproductive performance. So, for your lab activity number 9, for your assessment task, you will be computing for the production performance of the different breeds of goat. So, meron tayong tatlong breeds ng goat na pinagko-compare, Boer, Anglo-Nubian, and Native Goat. So, ang parameter na i-compute natin ay kidding rate and number of kids per year. Ang given natin ay conception rate, kid size, and kidding interval. So, for the kidding rate, ang formula ay 365 divided by 10 times 30. So, saan natin nakuha yung formula na yun? Ang kidding rate kasi, ang ibig sabihin niyan kung ilang beses nanganganak yung ating goat sa loob ng isang taon. So, nakuha natin yung 365 sa number of days in a year. So, 365 divided by 10. Yung 10 naman, nakuha natin sa kidding interval. Tinimes natin sa 30 para makonvert natin into days. So, for the Anglo-Nubian, same din. 365 divided by 9 Siyempre, yung kidding interval ng Anglo-Nubian times 30. Same din sa native, 365 divided by 9 times 30. For the number of kids per year, of course, kaya siya sinabing number of kids per year kung gano'ng karami yung ipinapanganak na kids or batang kambing sa loob ng isang taon. Ang formula ay kidding rate, I mean, kid size times kidding rate. So, yung kidding rate na kukunin natin ay yun yung kinumpute ninyo kanina na nakuha per breed. For the next, next assessment task, ang this table are composed of the go, growth performance of upgraded goats, goat race under different production system. Kapag kasi sinabi natin different production system, meron tayong complete confinement semi-intensive semi and extensive. Pag sinabi natin complete confinement, ibig sabihin yung goat natin ay nakakonfine. Ibig sabihin meron silang pabahay at nakakulong sila doon 24-7. Kapag ka sinabi naman natin semi-intensive, kaya nga tinawag na semi, during the day nakakawala sila or sila ay free range and during the night naman meron silang kulungan, kinukulong sila. Kapag ka sinabi naman natin extensive, Throughout the day, day and night, nakakawala, nakakawala lang yung ating kambing or free range. So, ang kukumpute natin ay gain in weight and average daily gain. Ang formula natin sa gain in weight ay weight at 8 months minus birth weight. For the average um, gain in weight naman, average daily gain, ang formula ay gain in weight divided, uh, divided by 8 times 30. So, saan natin nakuha yung 8? So, gain in weight divided by 8 kasi 8 months times 30 ulit para makonvert natin into days. Okay, so that's it for our lab activity number 9. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy our class. Good luck on your final term exam and always stay safe. Bye!